Good evening everyone, you are joining me from my bed. We are doing like a little Q&A, girl talk, skin chats, anxiety boys. We're doing a big Q&A. Um, I've asked for some questions and I'm just hoping that some have come in that we're gonna answer. Um, but yes, this is very chilled. So grab a little cuppa. We're gonna be answering a lot of questions. I was meant to be going out this evening, so I got all ready and I went to the tube station and all of the trains were canceled. So I decided not to let the makeup go to waste and to film a little video for you all. So with that being said, um, let's get on with it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And yeah, let me just see if I have got any questions. The first question is advice for anxiety. Love you so much, by the way. <laughs> Love you too. So anxiety is something that I have suffered with since I was like really little. Um, I actually think I had anxiety quite literally from being a toddler because I would never cry the way everyone else cried. Um, and I always could like never breathe. And for hours after I'd be going, <gasps> So I think when I was younger, I used to have a lot of panic attacks. Um, and I didn't know they were panic attacks and I was never taken to the doctors. Um, it was only when I got a bit older and I kind of realized that something wasn't quite right. <laughs> so my advice for anxiety, one, um, I talk about this quite a lot, but EFT, it's like a branch of acupuncture where basically you just like tap. I think it's like this. God, I haven't done it in a while. But if you Google it, um, if you Google EFT, you'll like, it will show you how to do it. But EFT is a really good way of like self-soothing that's actually like scientifically proven to calm your nervous system. For those of you that struggle with anxiety, which I can imagine is the majority of you given the world that we're living in at the moment, um, my thoughts really do go out to you because it's not really um, the most fun time, especially if you're someone that has like anxiety or panic attacks. Um... So yeah, my advice to you would just be take it day by day. Don't have like huge expectations for yourself. There's been times where I couldn't leave my house or go and meet anyone or go and do literally anything because I was so anxious. And especially because I experienced acne and skin problems for so many years that made me so scared to leave my house. Try and make those changes to make yourself have a calmer life in general. So whether that's like going on your phone less or journaling more trying to actively get thoughts out and make yourself calm like on like a daily basis rather than just trying to do it when you're really anxious if that makes sense kind of preventing rather than just like dealing with it when it happens i hope that makes sense but yeah anxiety is a really like difficult one i had one about my favorite makeup products so i brought my little makeup bag um and you guys know, obviously, as I've just been saying, I've always struggled with my skin. So my makeup is all acne safe, non-comedogenic, um, doesn't clog your pores. So I thought I would just show you a few of my favourite ride or die products um, that I've been using for years. So this is so random. My favourite foundation is the L'Oreal True Match. This is shade Cool Undertone and a huge life hack is if you love your foundation buy it in a dark shade and use that as like your cream bronzer so i've got shade mahogany in this same um foundation and that's what i use as bronzer um at the moment a blush i am absolutely loving is the elf putty blush let me show you this color it's in shade tahiti um my ride or die mascara well this has changed i am a mascara girly at the moment my eyelashes look really bad because i can't use my eyelash color give me a break um but i've been using the lash sensational for like a year now and i love it and i use the waterproof it's quite difficult to get off though but recently i switched to the sky high because they were having an offer and i can't decide which one i prefer um, oh my god if you are a girly that loves brow gel and like can't get your brow gel to like keep your eyebrows in place i bought the got to be glued brow gel and i don't like this okay i don't like this but the got to be glued spiking gel is it like it comes in a big pot i think it's about like four or five pounds and i just like squeeze some of it and put it in this tube it is literally glue it is glue for your eyebrows and obviously you can also put it in your hair because it's meant to be for your hair this setting spray is amazing it's the beauty crop glow milk oh it's the mini mist seal and set mist 
I love this. I love this and it is acne safe. As, as I've said, everything's acne safe, but I love this. Back to the questions. <laughs> Someone said, how are you so pretty? <laughs> Stop it. Stop that right now. How do you cope with acne and gain confidence? I've had quite a few questions about confidence and acne and it's a really, 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 really difficult one. Personally, for me, when I had acne, I did struggle with confidence a lot. Although there was a point in my acne journey when my skin was getting worse and worse and worse. I'm sure lots of you have been there before. And I thought, right, okay, well, I am gonna heal this. It is gonna get better, but for now, I don't wanna hate myself anymore. And I think when you kind of decide that you're gonna take the reins of your skin, and you're like, okay, like I, like, I am gonna have clear skin. And you convince yourself, I am gonna have clear skin. Like, everyone else can have clear skin. I can sort out what's going on in my body that's different to everybody else's. And I think once I had the confidence in myself that I was gonna, like, stick to this, stick it out and clear my skin, that kind of gave me the confidence of, like, well, this isn't gonna last forever. Like, I think also affirmations in the mirror, which I know is so, so difficult. Like, if you're going through a really big breakout and it's painful and, like, you think you're having a good skin day and you feel pain on your face, like, that is one of the most, like, difficult and tough feelings. Definitely start doing affirmations in the mirror. Tell yourself you're beautiful because you are and you deserve to feel that way. Even if you don't believe it and you don't want to accept your acne, you're gonna make the whole process a lot more depressing for yourself if you don't even like try to accept it, if that makes sense. Are there any brand beverages you love to drink that have benefits for your skin? This is a difficult question. I love, I think it's Vito coconut water. I love FS Mango Greens from Free Soul. I've always got a discount code with them. It's Life with Mills for 15% off. And also their protein powder is so, the salted caramel one or the vanilla one in a protein shake is amazing. But I'm trying to think of like beverages, brand beverages. Obviously I love all of like my herbal teas. There's Twinings, I think. I can never remember how to say it, Twinings. Um, Clippers teas, those are all really, really good. Um, someone asked about my LED mask. So my LED mask is from Current Body. They kindly gifted it to me and, and they have asked if it's worth the money. And I do think a lot of people that struggle with acne, you see these LED masks and you're like, oh my God, could that clear my acne for good? My personal opinion is it's a great addition to a skincare routine. It's a great like luxury product to have, but it's not going to clear your acne. It's not going to clear your acne at all. Um, I know the blue light masks do kill like acne causing bacteria and I think those will probably help breakouts um, but I, it's not going to clear your acne. That's my personal opinion. So like if you have the money and it's like disposable income, yeah go for it, get it. But I wouldn't say if you're struggling with acne to like save up and get it because I do think there are some like supplements or like I feel like what you're eating is more important than what you're putting on your face but that is just my personal opinion and i know lots of people don't have that opinion interesting someone said what would you say the biggest key to your growth online has been i think they've asked this because i only started having like an online presence in june um i made my tiktok account right at the end of may after i came back from traveling it might have even been june um and obviously it's only October now and I've got like 130,000 followers um, and on Instagram I've got like 50. I would probably say the key is just that I'm giving people information. A lot of girls will get a following just because the way they look and that's just kind of the way society is and that's absolutely fine. I know in myself I don't look the way that they do and I would never gain a following because of that. Um, so I just provide value. To people with information um and people want information especially information that they've never heard before so if you know a lot about i don't know painting or recipes or baking people love that information so yeah i would say if any of you guys watching are thinking about starting a youtube starting a tiktok definitely do it definitely do it if you've got something that you know lots about or you just love doing makeup or anything like that definitely do it oh someone said i really want your color hair but i'm afraid to lose my curly hair whilst doing it 
So it's actually quite a good question because I have curly hair myself. And I don't know if you guys can see, this is like my natural hair colour, but it obviously goes lighter. And we're not going to say that dyeing your hair doesn't damage it, especially bleaching your hair. I actually have been really considering going really dark. Let me find a photo of my natural hair colour. That is the colour of my natural hair. And obviously it's a lot blonder. The reason I like dyed my hair in the first place was because my hair was very gingery, auburn, had some blonde, had some brown, but it was a very warm brown. And like, I really kind of want to dye it dark and have like a cool brown. But I don't know, like, once you go dark, like, it's so difficult to get the blonde back, like, if I wanted to. So it's just, it's a big decision. A lot of people have asked for like acne scarring tips, hyperpigmentation tips. So obviously my biggest advice is to wear SPF every single day. Just find yourself an SPF that you're going to wear every single day, even if it's like a tinted SPF, which apparently tinted SPFs are actually a lot better for your skin than not tinted SPFs because they block more of the UV light, I believe, and then also have a really gentle routine. I honestly feel like if you're over exfoliating too much, the acne that you've got at the moment is more likely to turn into scars because it's struggling to heal. Yeah, people are just asking the same questions. So maybe I'll just give you a little life update or something. This week has been quite stressful. <laughs> I've had some like work calls with agencies. I've been trying to find an agency that I want to work with. Um, and tomorrow, which is actually very exciting, I'm going to the Shard with Free Soul. As I said earlier, like FS Greens and the protein powder that I have the discount code for. Um, I'm going to the Shard with them, which is going to be so exciting. I've never been to the Shard before. The Shard is like a big building in London, if you're not from the UK. I assume everyone from the UK will know what the Shard is. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. And then on Tuesday, I've got a work lunch. Sorry, who am I? Who am I going on a work lunch um, with Dr. Sam Skincare? You know, Dr. Sam Bunting. A lot of you will probably know who she is. Um, yeah, so I'm going for a work lunch and then after that I'm going to a number seven event. Um, so yeah, uh, this week is going to be exciting. It's now currently like my week off uni. So I yeah, I'm off for a week. It's called like our reading week, but or it's called our student engagement week, I think. I still have stuff to do and I have a lot of assignments to do. Um, but I don't actually have to physically be in uni. But obviously because of these events, I'm not actually going home until Wednesday. So I'm just going home for a couple of days, seeing my nan and granddad, seeing my friend Louise, my friend Emily, and obviously my family. And then I'm coming back on Sunday. So my life's all very up and down the country at the moment. Oh, did you have a boyfriend when you had acne and how do you feel about this? Do you have tips to feel better in this situation? I feel like this is a topic that is never ever spoken about but I genuinely think it's so important and like it's such a big thing when you have acne. Intimacy with acne it is such a huge thing like because when you're in a relationship with someone like there are so many intimate moments even like taking your makeup off before bed or like anything you know a bit raunchy <laughs> like it, they are such like vulnerable moments and we all know that like when you're in a relationship you have to be vulnerable and that is so tough if you don't feel secure in yourself because of your acne. And I know a lot of people that have probably struggle with body image also struggle with this. But when you have acne and it's actually on your face, it's so amplified. And like if you've got like acne around your mouth or anything like that and you feel like, oh, well, I don't want them to kiss me or like I don't want you to touch my face. And it's just such, it is such a difficult situation. And I did have... I did have a boyfriend when I had acne. So I had a boyfriend when I was younger from probably age 12 to 14. And then I had a boyfriend from age 14 to 18. So I essentially, essentially had a boyfriend the whole time I had acne bar probably like eight months of when it was really bad in between. However, I do think if you're in a relationship with the right person, it can be a really soothing thing 
because obviously that person loves you no matter what and you know that and they make you feel a lot better when you're sad about your skin and you always kind of feel like there's someone that's there for you. I also think on the flip side when you're single and you have acne or when you're dating and you have acne I kind of arguably think those things can sometimes be more difficult because I personally felt like no one would take me seriously why would anyone want to date me like I've got acne all over my face like no one wants to handle that when you could just have a girlfriend with clear skin and I always felt like it was very much a burden like who would want to introduce a girlfriend to their family that's got acne all over their face and I wouldn't even want to put myself in that situation in the first place. So yeah, it's a very difficult one. I feel like we can't come to a solution with this question because everyone is different and everyone's relationships are different as well and how supportive their partners are. But if you are in a relationship or you are single or you are dating and you're having kind of anxious feelings about it, just know you're definitely not alone. There are so many people in so many relationships where people have acne or they have just had a baby and they've got postpartum acne like it doesn't mean that anyone's gonna not love you because realistically if your boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever loved you for your looks it's not love is it <laughs> do you know what i mean like so try and kind of flip it to a perspective of having acne is kind of a filtering system into finding the right person because if anyone is so superficial that they wouldn't date you or take you seriously because of your skin then you don't want to be with them anyway how are you finding uni specifically uni in london oh I, the good questions are coming through now so uni is going okay i wouldn't say it's going well i definitely am struggling with the workload additionally to the workload of my business and my social medias i've been struggling <laughs> like i'm gonna admit it i've been really struggling the last few weeks i've been getting quite upset and frustrated with myself there's been a lot of phone calls with my mum every day being like mum i can't do this specifically uni in london i love it i absolutely love it um i love going into central to go to, to uni i love all of the cafes and the pubs and the restaurants i just love the selection of stuff but in terms of like the uni course i'm doing nutrition and i am i am enjoying it um it's probably a lot more difficult than i expected there's a lot more theory which i kind of do struggle with a little bit it's more so just like the balancing of it because obviously there's more work in uni than there is in a levels i'm so grateful to be here i'm so happy to be in uni i'm so happy to have the platform i do and the job i do which is why I carry on doing it, even though it is really difficult sometimes. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking for that extra support at the moment to kind of help me because I feel like at the moment I'm kind of just doing everything, but I'm not actually thinking about my goals or what I want to do in the future. You know what I mean? Like the kind of the drive and the excitement has kind of been lost a little bit just because I've been so busy all the time. I feel like I'm rambling, but that's, that's the basics of what's going on. Where did you get your necklaces from? Oh my god, what is this place called? What is this place called? It's so funny. I did an ad for Arborian, which is a which is a Korean skincare brand. This is so like side note, it's a Korean skincare brand, and I was wearing this necklace in it. And on the comments, someone put, Look, it's your necklace, and they tagged this business and i want to see what business it is let me look on my tiktok because i got this in the south of france in nice let me just show you it's absolutely beautiful like i love like astrology and stuff like that i'm actually going to get an astrology tattoo um but i really want to tell you the business of this because it's so high quality i've had this on every single day since june and it's not tarnished in the slightest. This is a Casio watch. And that's all the jewellery I've got. Oh, these are all from Amazon. Little huggies. All Amazon. Yeah, all Amazon. <laughs> Amazon is the plug. How to do a glow up. Honestly, if I knew, I would tell you. I would tell you. I think a glow up is mental. It is mental. Like you cannot go up, you can't glow up if you're not mentally glowing up. Journaling is a huge way to glow up because when you have more confidence in yourself, you automatically hold yourself differently. 
and you you have grown up because the confident when you see someone and you think oh my god they're amazing it's it's probably because of their confidence journaling getting yourself a good night and morning routine is essential um and kind of like in your skincare and your makeup like you don't need to be using different stuff but actually taking your time and enjoying the process i think yeah just living like a happier life so like do the things that make you happy because that is what makes you glow like when someone gets into a really healthy happy relationship everyone always says god you're glowing you're glowing or when someone gets out of a toxic relationship like, you're glowing it's honestly it's a mental thing it is a mental thing like when you mentally glow up you physically glow up because you just you radiate positive energy how to take care of your hair shiny without frizzy ends I feel like hair oil is really essential for this because your hair I feel like my hair could never not be frizzy if I didn't have a hair oil in like it would never not be frizzy ever even if like I've straightened it it will go frizzy if I haven't got a hair oil in um, and also what I've really been enjoying is my heat protectant spray has argan oil in and I think that has really helped um, because I put that on after a shower whether I'm drying my hair or not just because you can actually get heat damage from the sun which I didn't know <laughs> but that has definitely helped with um, the frizziness of my hair and it's such a small amount of argan oil that I think it doesn't make your hair like really greasy or anything. So there you go some of my favourite songs at the moment. Ugly Heart will always and forever be one of my favourite songs. It reminds me of a summer that I had at my nan's house. Shall I play it for you? Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm a fool. That's one of my favourite songs. What else have we got? Oh, me and Emily. This is our, well, this is more her song, but I love this song too. This song, Five Seconds of Summer, wherever you are. Yeah, that's all the songs at the moment that I'm enjoying. Right, last time I'm checking for new questions. How was your day today? Oh, well, it wasn't actually that ideal. I woke up, made a sleigh, and I was like, I'm gonna do some uni work. Didn't do any. And then I was like, hmm, I wanna go to these markets. So I went out, went outside, went to the markets that were literally just outside my room. And I got two tiffins and I got a chickpea brownie, which was actually a blondie super slay come back to my room film some content tried to do uni work didn't do any um and then i got ready obviously as i said got ready to go out went to the train station trains were cancelled so i didn't go for dinner so then i got an acai bowl big slay and i had that for dinner and then i decided to film this so i mean it's worked out quite well to be fair because i feel like i've still done something with my time i guess but i think That'll be all the questions for now. If I get any more questions that are good, I will just add them into the next Q&A. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. It honestly helps so much. Um, so I can keep doing these. And I hope you have a lovely day. I'm sorry if there's been any background noise in this video. Um, I do live in quite a busy area and I live obviously in student accommodation. So there's people always walking up and down the halls. So please bear with me because of that. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. I do upload on here every single week so if you have any video ideas or any suggestions or anything like that please comment them down below all of my links and everything for all my socials will be in the description box and i love you have a lovely day have a lovely week and i'll see you soon bye